and we've shifted pretty much all of them. There's an upside down dory. Hello and welcome back to my office. Welcome to a new year. Happy New Year, it's now 2023. Oh, actually, I could change my calendar. Here's my little busy on eBay sign that came from Carla. Move that. And this is 2022 Laney's calendar. And I am lucky enough. That was a very loud car. I am lucky enough to have a 2023 Laney calendar. Birds on film. Uh, so we will, let's get it on to January. Hang on a second. Hang on a minute, wait a minute. There we go. January, it's a magpie. Oh, there's no hooky thing. <laughs> okay. Right, I will find some string and I will, I will hook that up. But we'll save that for later. Anyway, right, you didn't come here to watch me faff around with that. So I thought we'd go old school and do a picking orders video, but we haven't really been pushing eBay. Our listed stock is the lowest it has been for, I don't know how long, many, many, many years. Um, because of the move and then we've been really focused on getting the house decorated um, and getting the new office. Now we're gonna move the office into there, getting that done and lots of other things. So our listing has suffered and our listed stock is just the few bits you can see here. It may look like a lot, but it's not really. It's only a hundred or so items. But we did keep our eBay on over Christmas. We didn't sell a lot. Um, I shipped a bunch of it before we went um, away to my mum's for New Year, but we've had a splattering of orders uh, in the couple of days we, we were away. Form words, Nick, come on. So I thought we would do those. There is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and I'm pretty sure one on Etsy. So we'll have a go at picking that lot. So let's start with the Etsy order, which looking at it now, probably the best order I'm going to show you today. We have sold um, Federal Moon Glow Iridescent Cups and Saucers times three um, at 35 pounds. So I think they are tucked right in this corner up there. So while we're in the light, you can see these iridescent white kind of milk glass but they are fancy milk glass <laughs> anyway so three cups i'm going to be careful with these he says almost dropping them tell you what i'm going to leave those right there there they are you can see them i'm going to leave them there until i until i package them because doing it one-handed whilst holding a camera, probably not wise. So yes, those, are they staying in the UK? Yes, they are going to, oh, they're going to Canvey Island in Essex. Lovely. Okay, so that's the Etsy order. So now if I jump back into eBay, there we go. We will start at the bottom. We've sold a Boggle. I think that's the last, yeah, I listed a, a load of board games um, and that's the last to go. I think it went at eight pounds in the end just to, to move the last one. There it is, Boggle, I think this is the 2000 edition uh, or thereabouts. There we go, yeah, not a great deal of value but I find they sell. Um, I love that game. I love most word games, Scrabble, boggle up words right up my street so that's going out um oh we have a message on this order it says hi nick and andrea been waiting to expand my movie collection and just finished the book last night this is an order of the hobbit on dvd so perfect timing for this item hope you had both have a wonderful new year thank you that is ethan who has picked up a DVD. Look how much media I've got listed, hardly any. There's some Ali McBeal, 
box sets, which I just can't shift. <laughs> I sent out lower offers on that, um, just not getting picked up. But apart from that, it's just these bits here. And there, set in the middle, is The Hobbit. So thank you very much, um, Ethan. I appreciate it. I'll get that off to you ASAP. It's actually a bank holiday today, but I thought I'd get ahead of myself, get the orders picked and packed, and they will ship out on Tuesday. Um, so what's next? Spare hunch checklist sheets for Harry Potter mystery at Hogwarts. Um, right, 19 sheets. Now I have a few of these little pads. When I went through and sorted out all my board game spares, I got rid of a load of it. I used to keep all of these sort of things, a great big crate, I mean huge, it was like 10, 15 kilos of spares. I, I reduced all of that down, sold off a load of it. I, sold, I auctioned some off in bulk and then kept the rest. So these were listed. Um, which one is it? 19 sheets, it's that one. So just a, a little part used pad has sold for a whole three English pounds. Um, so which one was it? That one. Let's keep that one out, pop these back. And while I'm going back over there, we need the locomotives of the Great Eastern Railway book. Um, this was a bit slow, this book. It's up here. Took a while to shift and didn't shift for a whole lot. It's gone at £6.45, so that sounds like an offer that we had. Uh, it will still ship as a large letter, so there you go, just a train book. I don't really remember where that came from, but I doubt I would have paid very much for it. Uh, so nice to move that finally. Next, oh, we have a plush. It's a cuddly toy, uh, and it is Dory. Um, so I did a bunch of cuddly toys all at the same time before Christmas and we've shifted pretty much all of them. There's an upside down dory. There we go. So this is a Disney store. There's his little patch. That's that. What have we got left in here? We've got a tiny, oops, Hang on a minute. A tiny little Dumbo that doesn't want to sell. And a jelly cat sheep. And that's it from that plush listing session I had a while back. So yes, Dory's going out. Let's find out how much it's sold for. Not a lot, I would imagine. Um, 13 49 in total when you add in the shipping. So 10 pounds plus shipping it effectively. On him, he's quite a large one. There you go. Excellent, so that's gone. Next we have a cola beel. Can you see? No, still can't see. Oh. I'll just read it for you. A cola beel candlestick holder. Uh, okay, mid-century Swiss folk art. Right, one of them. Oh, it's right here. That one. This is really nice. I like this. It's a very kind of, well, it's as Andrea described it, kind of folk art. It's very cottagey. Um, it would fit in in our new house actually here. But yeah, that's rather, rather nice. I like that. Oh, and you can see the signature. There you go. Cola Beale. Hard to make out, but that has sold. What did it sell for, you ask? Um, 15 pounds plus postage, 18.49 all in for that one. Let's see out of interest. I think that's staying in the UK. Uh, yeah, that's off to West Yorkshire, Halifax to be precise. Okay, so that's that one. I don't think there's much more to go couple more bits. We have sold a red nose. Oh, I had this out earlier. It's, well, it's a white red nose. Um, yeah, it's a mummy. 
So that year, all of the other noses were red. This one is mostly white, but yeah, there it is. And this is from 2017. Wow, so these, yeah, these are five years old already. Um, Price-wise, there's not a lot of value in these. Four pounds plus post, so seven pounds all in for that. And finally, a white Starbucks Coffee Co mug, 2014. Simple typewriter text classic design, apparently. So somewhere, shout when you see it. Oh, is it that? There's one here. All right, need to be careful. Is it that? No, that's a Ray Dunn. Okay, it's not that. Where is it then? Ah, ah, ha, ha, ha. Here we go. Starbucks. It says Starbucks on it. it says Starbucks Coffee Co on it. I'm reckoning that's it. Okay, that has sold at £13 plus shipping, £16.50 all in. There we go. Job done. So, like I said at the beginning, I mean, we, we've not really been focused on eBay. Um, we, we're lucky to get that, that load of sales, the amount of work we've been putting into it. But it is nice to get a bunch of it moving. So I'm going to get that packaged up. Um, yeah, it won't go anywhere today. It's bank holiday. But I will get ahead of myself for once. So yes, if you are new to this channel, um, welcome. I hope you enjoyed that. Um, this is what I do for a living. I buy stuff, sell it on the internet for profit. It's my job. And on this channel we share all of the aspects of finding this stuff, listing it on eBay and Etsy, and making some profit along the way. That's the idea. And yeah, we share the ins and outs of being a self-employed reseller. So if that sounds like fun, please subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. I will leave you with a video up here. I'll find another picking orders video. This one was quite a short one. If you want a longer one, click up there and carry on watching this fool pick stuff that he sold on the internet. Ta-ra!